arrest. The Fort Lauderdale chief of police warning. Hey, good morning, Todd and Heather. That's right. For much of Florida here in Naples and the surrounding area, it's a big cleanup, removing the hundreds of thousands of trees like the ones you see behind me and, of course, restoring power. But in the Keys, a very different story and maybe a humanitarian crisis unfolding as the tens of thousands of uh, 10,000 residents, excuse me, that stayed behind are dealing with the unbelievable damage that wrecked the Keys, particularly the southern Keys debt has surpassed $20 trillion. The debt crossed that mark after President Trump agreed to raise the debt limit for three months, along with approving billions in hurricane disaster relief funds. Congress will have to address the debt ceiling again in December. Well, the U.N. slapping North Korea with some new sanctions. The Security Council unanimously approving a ban on the rogue regime's textile exports and cutting back on its ability to import oil and other top al-Qaeda leaders. If I were them, I'd count my days. Al-Qaeda itself, the senior leadership of Al-Qaeda today is weaker than it was 16 years ago. That is, the U.S. government and our allies have done really good work uh, to take out their senior leaders. And as you just heard Pompeo saying, Al-Qaeda is weaker than it was 16 years ago, but admits the threat from radical Islam remains because of groups like ISIS. 16 years after... It could have been much worse. So our goal at the city is to get back on our feet as quickly as possible and get power restored and get the roads and the beach cleaned up so we can get some Okay, Shannon. Well, you've got good morning to you there in good, New York. Good to see you, Bill. You've got the sunshine there on your side and the worker side as that recovery begins. Uh, it's just getting started in Florida, by the way. About six million people remain without power, which is potentially life-threatening in South Florida where the heat there are a lot of things in this new round of sanctions, but there are a lot of things that didn't make it in. Some of those tougher oil restrictions, some of the sanctions on Kim Jong-un himself, on the national airline. Uh, how tough are these sanctions, and are they going to make any difference uh, as those in the previous, uh, you know, rounds of these votes have not really done? Yeah, well, you know, the first Security Council sanctions were imposed on North Korea in 2006. I was there when we did it. And so after 11 years, you have to ask yourself, what is the cumulative effect of these?